Good afternoon. We're back with Grady News Source Afternoon Webcast. I'm Hillary Allen. And I'm Jessica Sukmanen. As you can see, we're here at the Arches downtown where there's a bunch of people rallied up. Um, Jessica actually just got to interview um, one of the leaders, so I'll have her tell you about it. Yeah, speaking to me. Every Sunday, uh, these classes are taught by volunteer UGA students. Not compensated at all for this. We also uh, faculty because these students can't get uh, driver's license in the United States. So it's really a, a huge group effort. They're, they were inspired by a trip they took to Washington D.C. where they had a similar rally, and they decided to bring the passion to UGA as well. Now later on today, they're going to be going to the UGA admissions office to kind of grab some attention from there. They're going to be moving this entire group down there. Uh, so stay tuned and we'll see if we have any updates for you guys at 5 o'clock. Uh, we also have some, uh, we, they're also putting us in touch with some footage that they have of a Board of Regents sit-in that they had where they went to the Board of Regents office and they all voiced uh, their frustration with these admission problems that they've been having. And it's because of the black they're demanding And as you can see, despite this incredibly cold front we have here right now, hasn't stopped anyone from coming out here, students and professors alike. They're handing out signs and different things, and there's even free lunch over there. So there's definitely a lot going on here at the Arch. Also, more in Athens news, there was a possible bomb threat that we have reporter Paul Meharry looking into. And we also have reporter Tess Gilbert looking into something called dumpster diving, which a lot of people seem to be taking part in. So stay tuned with us at 5. I'm Hillary Allen. And I'm Jessica.